It's up on the board here. Why was George W. Bush wrong in his efforts to save the auto industry? And why was Barack Obama wrong to continue the effort? Uh, Senator Santorum, I want to go to you first with this question. You, like your friends on the stage tonight, opposed the auto bailout. Michigan votes on Tuesday along with Arizona. Uh, I, we assume folks are watching there tonight. Address your answer to an auto worker who may believe strongly that he or she has that job tonight because of the help of the bailout. I would just say to them that um, I, in principle, opposed government coming in and bailing out a, a sector of the economy or an industry uh, with government dollars and, and, and with government manipulation of that market, which is exactly what happened twice uh, in 2008 and 2009. The first time it happened was the Wall Street bailout. On principle, I opposed the Wall Street bailout. Even though I, I understand people, had, uh, I, I, reasonable people could disagree, I felt that having the government come in in such a major way and have a huge in, uh, influence over the direction of that industry, that that would be damaging to what I believe is the best way to resolve these types of problems, which lets the market work. Constructive capitalism, as Governor Romney was talking about in his days at Bain Capital, and destructive capitalism. And that means pain. I understand that. But it also means limited government and allowing markets to work because we believe they're more efficient over time. I held the same consistent position when it came to the auto bailouts. Uh, I can say that with respect to Governor Romney, that was not the case. He supported the folks on Wall Street and bailed out Wall Street, was all for it. And then when it came to the auto workers and the folks in Detroit, he said no. That to me is not a consistent principled position. I had one. I believe in markets not just when they're convenient for me. Governor. Uh, uh.